Yo, I am not kidding when I say this, but this month has felt like one of the busiest months in Galaxy of Heroes ever since I can even remember, since we've started playing. Maybe when it comes to content that we've actually gotten in-game, that's maybe not the case. But when it comes to news and new information that we've received about Galaxy of Heroes, this month honestly is up there with the amount of content that we've received and heard about. So. This, in this video, I do a monthly series where I go back and I look back at the last month of Galaxy of Heroes. And this past month of Galaxy of Heroes has been actually pretty insane, honestly. Um, we've got, I mean, I'll just quickly show you my notes for this. I don't want to spoil too much, but I mean, I got quite a few things to talk about today um, in this video. So if you want to strap in, keep yourself up to date on what's all happened this month in Galaxy of Heroes, do so by dropping like and subscribing to stay up to date with more content just like this. I upload and try and make content every single day. So if that sounds interesting to you, definitely like and subscribe. Now, let's get right into this new video. How about that? So our first thing that we need to talk about today is something I think a lot of people have actually maybe even forgotten about, and that is the store changes. Now the store, we've gotten a pretty decent update to. Uh, now when I say a decent update, it means we've added a few things into here. I think uh, we've added Anakin's Eda 2 into the Galactic Warshipman, as far as I'm aware. I also know that Grief Karga and The Mandalorian are available in one other store now. I don't know which store they are available in, and I don't know if they're uh, available right this second, but I know that they're now been updated to be able to be uh, unlocked through a few different easily accessible stores, which is really great. I'm glad to see that they keep doing these updates to the uh, the farming here. Let's see where Grief Karga is. Yeah, you're in Galactic War. Is where's Mando? I think Mando's in here. Where's Mando? Mando, Mando, Mando. Oh, you're a light side. That's there. You are. Yeah. So they're both in Galactic War now, which is real nice. I'm, I'm, I'm greatly, greatly happy for all of those out there who need to be farming up their BAM for their executors and also uh, want to beef up their bounty hunter team because those are some pretty great characters. Now I think we want to get the main big things out of the way here. Let's talk about uh, the road ahead. Now the road ahead came out a few days ago. Well, I mean, July 2nd, it's July 11th right now when I'm recording this, so uh, get your free Slurpees, but, um, well, I guess it's uploaded tomorrow, so it doesn't matter. But anyways, point being, um, the road ahead came out, and we've got a lot of new information about Imperial Remnants, Night Sisters, and Ahsoka content, excluding a Galactic Legend. But going over through this quickly, we're getting Captain Enoch, Darth Trooper Peridia, and the Night Trooper was released a well, as well officially this month, and, um, it looks like it's going to be a pretty fun team. The Great Mothers are coming with Morgan Elsbeth, and we also know that uh, Balin Skull is getting an epic confrontation event uh, sometime in the future. And we know that the Imperial Remnants also are going to be requirements for Ahsoka. So this is the uh, Galactic Legend Ahsoka Tano uh, hub, I suppose, for all the information coming soon. And it seems like in about a week or so, we'll have the next batch of requirements, is my guess. Uh, we go into Galaxy of Heroes, we can see what the current requirements are. Um, we have General uh, General Skywalker, Ahsoka Tano Stips at Relic 9, Ventress, and Night Trooper, and we also can speculate very, very heavily, if we go back to here, that this will be Enoch and Death Trooper Peridia, and this will probably be her uh, Starfighter. So we know a few things about it, but those few things aren't necessarily 100% confirmed, but they're basically confirmed at this point. So a lot of cool information there. And also we have a new D Data Crunch set coming out uh, with this Conquest cycle. Um, you're getting a bunch of light side, dark side, and healer and support tank and attacker synergy, which is really, really cool. We haven't really seen much of that before in Datacron sets, so focusing on the general clashes that characters fall into as a Datacron is really, really cool. I'm interested to see how that will, um, really how that will come together. So next up, we also have Jedi Counselor, Barris Offy, Visus Mar, IG-11, Ewok Elder, two Cupcrons, three actually, sorry, Darth Nihilus has two, Sordi has two, Trip has two, uh, two Watt Tambor has two, Stormtrooper Han has two, Gar Saxon has two, Vandor Chewy has two, Bosk has two, Gormian Guard, Emphas Nest, Iden Versio, Night Trooper, Sabine Ren, Young Han Solo, Wampa, Geo Soldier, all have Datacrons, and a lot of them seem really fun. A lot of people are calling this one of the bigger Datacron sets that we've seen, so I'm kind of excited to see what the future of Datacrons look like. Uh, 
after all this stuff comes out and once we get through Conquest. So um, I personally am taking Conquest a little bit light this time around because um, I'm trying to hoard up crystals so that I might be able to unlock uh, seven star marquees for the Ahsoka event later down the line. However, I'm kind of debating on maybe I shouldn't be doing that because these new Datacrons are really going to be helpful. A lot of my good Datacrons went away with this last Datacron set. All of my really, really good Datacrons were in the, the blue. So a little disappointed in that, but still working on getting some of this new Datacron material uh, figured out. So that's what's been going on on that front. Now let me pull up my notes back over here and get you out of the way for you guys. Uh, speaking of Conquest with the Road Ahead, I didn't mention this, but we're getting G uh, the Ahsoka... Uh, Ezra, that's his name. Ahsoka Ezra as the next Conquest unit. Right now we're doing Luthen, and we're still kind of recovering from Queen Amidala. Um, but Luthen will be ending in, in the... Not this one, but the next Conquest cycle, and after that we're getting uh, Ezra as the next Conquest unit, which is pretty cool. Now, the probably the biggest change that you've probably visually seen is the new profile pictures. The new profile pictures, as well as the PC client, has been pushed out again. Um, I somehow missed the first round of PC client, but I got it this time around, which is pretty cool. So if you signed up, make sure you double check your EA app launcher. The EA app launcher absolutely sucks, and I don't get it to work half the time, but when it does, I can play Galaxy of Heroes on my computer officially with really, really great graphics. Uh, but not only that, but vi everything visually looks really, really great. Um, super cool visual update to profile pictures, which is pretty, pretty cool if you ask me. Um, let me know what you guys think about the profile pictures in the comment section down below. I'm very, I'm very curious about that because a lot of people like them, a lot of people hate them. Uh, they're a lot more controversial than I thought they would be. But one thing I do want to point out when it comes to profile pictures is that a bunch of new ones have been leaked. Um, I found uh, some new interesting ones. Anil made a video about this. This might not be new units per se, but these are very cool to see in the game nonetheless. Um, you see Dark Barris here, which is really cool. Sham Sindula, um, Evan Peel, Galen Urso, Jukasa Nu, Lats Razzie. Now, now, these guys might be NPC characters or scrapped characters, but it's very interesting that CG went back and actually updated uh, these character icons. It's because it's like, why would you pay to update them? Especially these Ventresses ones. These are these the Ventress ones are pretty cool. So um, I'm excited to see what they do with these. There's a ton more. We really there's a file release of every profile picture, and these were some of the notable ones that I found. So uh, we'll see what happens in the future uh, with that for sure. Now something we haven't talked about just yet is the uh, Battle for Naboo raid has been launched, and a lot of people are not at all happy with this. Um, you can see here my score, my final score after finally getting through everything was only 484,000. Uh, I did not buy any of the uh, Jedi Ally Lightspeed Bundle that came out this month as well. Um, the Jedi Ally Lightspeed Bundle came out with uh, Shakti, Qui-Gon, Plo Koon, uh, who is it? Uh, Kit Fisto, Luminara, I don't know, I remember, I think it's Eth Koth. Maybe it wasn't was it shock team i don't know some some of these random trash jedi came out in a lightspeed bundle i skipped out on it because i wanted to see what it would be like without it next time it comes around i will definitely be buying it <laughs> if they decide to you know make it return uh but definitely kind of uh an interesting controversial raid considering the rewards have been very very um limiting because of the amount of characters that have required a lot of people are not happy with the uh strict unit requirements and as such are getting much lower rewards when we were doing the endor crate uh, we were usually getting the seventh sixth or seventh crate and now we're getting the third so we'll see what happens but extremely unfortunate that this is what uh this is kind of what the raid has come to uh, a lot less rewards uh, but I guess when you think about the fact that how crazy the new guild event store is, I mean, it, it get a lot out of it. But the big issue that people are upset about is the Mark III raid tokens, which is gating a lot of relic materials behind an uh, uh, unfortunate uh, paywall with Gungans and uh, Queen Amidala and all that stuff. So unfortunate, but we'll see what happens if anything develops with that. Um, Let's see, is there anything else that I missed? Oh yes, uh, the game was broken for a very long time. Uh, when I say broken, a lot of things just weren't really working. There was the defense of Dathomir that had the infinite General Grievous yet again. They still hadn't fixed that. The Jedi Allies Lightspeed Bundle, uh, if you bought it on the PC client, uh, didn't work properly. So it, it, they just kind of gave you some crystals and said, eh, sorry, uh, that happened to Nooch. Um, 
on the video, which was really, really funny. So check that out if you haven't already. But packs wise, the light speed model wasn't working. But another pack that came out is the Galactic Ascension. What are they called? Ascension ability packs. Those are basically really great deals for um, packs that I don't think are currently available. But if you bought them, they can ramp up in rewards. You get more and more rewards the more you purchase. Uh, it gives you some energy, ability materials, energy. There, it was a pretty decent pack if you're a whale in the game, but not necessarily something uh, light speed bundle worthy for a lot of us. But in terms of Galaxy of Heroes packs, it is pretty good. You can't deny how great those were. I think the last thing that we need to talk about today, and yes, this is the last thing, is there was a, actually a new assault battle that was added, and it is called the uh, Duel of the Fates uh, assault battle. And that is a Master Qui-Gon and Padawan Obi-Wan, uh, well, and a normal Qui-Gon uh, assault battle, which basically you go against Darth Maul. And sure, normal Qui-Gon does okay, but the real synergy that really is going to take you to tier 9, or the last tier, whatever, is Relic 9, Padawan Obi-Wan, and Master Qui-Gon. Those guys uh, really get through that assault battle because they're very synergized. So, um... I'm currently kind of farming Padawan Obi-Wan up on the side. Hopefully, I'm going to get around to it once I get into... Where is my team checklist? Once I get around to finishing up some of my Glad Republic stuff after I get uh, some of this other stuff figured out, like my Grand Inquisitor and Reva and maybe GL Ahsoka, depending on the requirements. Once I get all this stuff figured out, I'm going to maybe go back into my Glad Republic and relic some more characters up. But a lot of stuff has happened this month, and it's honestly kind of crazy. I would not have expected... This month to have been this busy but it really was quite a busy month so what did you think about this month in galaxy of heroes what did you think about the data set the new raid the new galactic legend the road ahead i want to hear all of it in the comments section down below if you did enjoy this little recap make sure you drop a like and subscribe and i will keep doing this every month uh but until then uh, i will be live streaming and uploading videos pretty much every single day so if that sounds interesting i'll see you uh in the next one so appreciate you guys watching have a great rest of your day everybody